Hey guys, welcome to Ghana Near Photography. My name is Don Alabi. In today's tutorial, I will take you through how to work on your base characteristics. That's um, changing your ICC profile, tweaking it, making it work for you. Now, I'm recording this tutorial because I've had um, a colleague, a fellow photographer, ask me how to, you know, tweak certain things. Now, his main problem was when he loads pictures in Capture One, they appear reddish. There's this um, red tint applied to the pictures immediately. Now, I had that problem when I started using Capture One. Unfortunately, I didn't have anyone to explain that to me. I had to fidget things out, you know, go through Capture One, do a whole lot of things before finding out what exactly it was. I realized it had to do with the ICC profile the curve, this particular thing over here. So I decided to have a video to explain to you know, other people who might be experiencing this same thing. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do so and hit the bell button so you don't get to miss any of my tutorials. Now, I started using Capture One, I think a bit over two years ago. Yeah, I've never been, you know, a fan of other the other raw processes apart from ACR Adobe Camera Raw. I haven't used any other raw processor. Now Capture One gets the work done well for me, so I don't see why I should switch to a different one. Now, if you import your picture here, normally this curve stays at auto, and then it picks the camera you used automatically. Now, if you click on this, you realize there are other cameras over there. Now, let's say we go to um, Canon. Canon has a whole lot of cameras here. So depending on the camera you use, now as we over, over through um, the selection here, you see the image changes. So you realize Canon gives you much more reddish images by default. So this, as we go through, you realize the image changes, the colors keep changing. And they are all mostly towards reds by default on Canon. Now let's go to Nikon and then over to So you see, Nikon doesn't give you that much of a reddish image as you can see. Same thing with other ones. Now there is something I learned online recently. You go to effects and then no color correction. So you realize the image has this kind of flat look. As you can see, the reds are all gone and all that. And um, in the tutorial, it was said that you should select this so that that will be your base uh, profile. But then I realized I didn't need this much. I need to see most of the colors. And what I use a Nikon D750, and it gives me much more of you know the colors straight out of camera, you know the way I want them. Because I normally use uh, my own white balance you know, i use mostly 55 000 k in camera so i get the colors the way close to the way i want before they even come out so i don't usually do it. but if you think this would be helpful to you just select no color correction and it will give you a flat also my image uh, style in camera i choose the neutral value yes i make it neutral so i get the colors close to how I want them. And then this curve also, I realized portrait works for me very well. Now let's just scroll through. This is auto film extra shadow, film high contrast, film standard, linear response, and then portrait. I realized portrait works very well for me. So that's what I use. Now, once you're done with um, selecting what best works for the camera you're using, you can just click on this the three um, dots up here and then go to save as default for the camera you're using so that way anytime you import a picture you don't have to go through this whole process it applies it to that once you use that same camera to shoot those pictures it applies it to them automatically so guys i think this is the main thing. and as as it's a uh, written here base characteristics now these are the base thing before you go ahead and then do your 
white balance and other stuff. So I have a, a video, another tutorial on how I raw process my images in Capture One. I'll put the link down below so you get to what but then we'll do just something quick here. After doing the base characteristics, we just come here and then start working on our image to give it the look we want. Now, as I said, I always shoot somewhere around 55k. So we do something like this and then so let's go to let's uh, clone this then clear. So this is after what we've done. This is before the raw process. And then this is after. This is not the this might not be the final result, but for the sake of this tutorial. I'll just leave it like this. So we have this is before, this is after. Let's put them together. So this is after, this is before. So guys, we've come to the end of this um, short tutorial. Please don't forget to comment, like, and share this video if it's been helpful to you. And don't forget to subscribe. I hope this has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for watching.